Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Myself Malkai Santosh. Hope all are doing fine. How are you guys? Hope you are following my Java coding sessions and also with the Selenium technical challenges. Hope you are liking these videos and also subscribe to my channel for further videos. If you subscribe, that will give me more energy to do more such videos like this. In today's video, I'm going to start some new series on automation framework essentials. So, developing an automation framework from scratch is a big task to every automation engineer. So, while developing a framework, you need to remember some essentials which needs to be captured at the early stages of framework creation and will reduce more time while your framework is ready. So, in this topic, I'm going to discuss how to configure the property files dynamically. So, we need to identify these types of uh, things in the early stages because these property files may use in any type of your test creation, data creation. So, you need to normalize these property files and make it dynamic everywhere. Let's begin our session. Let me open my IntelliJ. I am in IntelliJ right now. So, I have already created the Maven project. So, whenever you are creating the automation framework, try to create it in Maven project. Maven is having proper folder structure to create our repositories, utilities and test cases. So, prefer Maven. And we will be having pong.xml where we can add our dependencies and create our own plugins to configure our own framework. Okay. Now, we are discussing about properties file creation, right? So, in order to create our properties, we need to create under resources folder. So, I already created a property file. Let me open it. So, under these properties, we will be having three parameters, environment, username and password. Okay. So, to fetch these properties, we need, we need to create a Java class. So, under Java, I have created a package, com.santosh. Under this, we will be having one Java class. So, I just created a properties class object and then I have created a file where I have passed out the argument of our path where we have a property file. Then I have created an input stream and in the file input stream, I have placed the path of the file. Okay. Now, in order to fetch the details, we need to load the properties. Okay. To load the properties, we need to use the properties instance. Then we need to use load method. And it is expecting an input stream. You see, it is expecting an input stream. It's passed that input stream, which we have the path. Okay. So, once it is passed, now all the properties will be loaded into the instance. Now, if you want to fetch any details, so properties dot get property. So, you can pass the name of the property which you need to fetch. For example, I need the property of username. Let me capture the username. So, if I print this, it should print the it should print the name of the username. Okay, so we got the name of the username. So, this is the basic uh, properties files which we have. I am going to show you how to fetch the dynamic property files. Okay, so in real time, we are going to fetch dynamic properties, right? So, here I am going to show you right now. So, in order to do that, we need to go to pom.xml. So in pom.xml, so right now we don't have any dependencies or plugins. I'm going to create one plugin here, which is resources plugin. I have already have the properties. Let me paste it. Okay. So here we will be having the one property, which is Maven resources plugin. Okay. And uh, I have the version with uh, 3.3. And also I am having one more resources tag, which I am going to filter. So wherever the property files, I am having my property files under resources. So I have placed that a source main resources and I have kept the filtering as true. So it will filter the things which we have okay so once we have created the plugins you need to create profiles okay so as we are loading the dynamic data you can load any number of profiles okay in each profile you can pass your specific data in order to create profiles we need to use profile stacks okay in profile stacks we need to create our profile so tag as well so under each profile we need to have a id Define. So we need to have an ID defined. Let me create an ID tag. Each ID should having one unique name. So I am keeping it as QA. So our profile name is QA right now. And uh, in these, we need to provide the properties. So whatever the properties we have in the config properties, we need to provide in the profile. Okay. So so this is the property stacks I have created. And for each property, I have given a specific name. Okay. So likewise, we can create one more profile. Let me copy the entire profile name here. And uh, let me make it as dev. Okay, I'm making this profile name is dev, and uh, the environment name is dev, and it is a dev user, and this is the dev password. Okay, now we have two profiles one is QA profile, one is dev profile, and we will be having a resources plugin. So, using these resources plugin and profiles, we are now going to fetch the data. Okay, so how to do that? So, let me go to the config.properties. So, in config.properties, now we are not giving the static values we are giving the dynamic values so in order to give that you need to use the dollar and you need to pass the whatever the property you were asking to okay 
So we have mentioned it as environment right in the profile. So the same name should be passed in the config properties. Okay, so copy this and make it as dynamic for each and every element. And making it as password. Okay, so now you have changed your property files to dynamic. So and you have created two profiles here. Now I will show you how to fetch this data dynamically. So let me go to my Java class and let me run this program. So whenever you are running the program, so you will get the property file data, right? So now we got the property as dollar username, so which we have in the property file. So it's the static uh, file, so we got the data which we have in the property files. But we need the data as per the profiles we have created, right? So whenever you run the program, all the class files will be stored in the target folder. So under source, you will be having all the source files, and in the target, you will be having all the class files. Okay, so if you see the class files, you will be having config.properties under these classes. So if you open this, you can see we have the same data. Nothing has changed. But we need to have the data, any one of these profile data under these config.properties. In order to do that, we need to activate any one, one of these profile by default. Okay, so let me do that. So in order to activate the profile, you need to go to the profile, so any one of the profile, and you need to add this tag. So this tag defines activate by default. So now this is this is how we activate the default profile. Okay, once you have applied this tag, now if I so if I go to my testing properties and if I rerun this program again, again it will create a new class files on a target folder. It will build the project. So we got the same output, this is expected, but what actually we are looking is the config.property files. So if you see in config.properties on the target folder, we have the QA profile data. Okay. So we have the QA user, QA username and QA password. So because we have defined these as default profile, so it picked the data of the default profile properties. Okay. Okay. I will now show you how to fetch this dynamic data, which is uh, loading under target folder. So let me open my testing properties. So under this, I have created a, a wide method. So here we are right going to write the code to fetch the target folder data. So to do that, uh, we need to use the get class method. Okay. So under this, we will be having a get class loader. Okay. So this will fetch the class loader class files. Okay. And we need all the files as a stream. Okay. Now under this stream, we need the file which we need. Okay. So we need config dot. This will return the yeah input stream. Okay, this input stream we will pass to the property files. Okay, so let me return this input stream. This input stream here. So we will get the input stream. So instead of uh, loading this input stream here, so I will load the input stream which is coming from the method. So now we don't need these two methods okay so whatever I need, like uh, I will create a object first okay so let me create the object of uh, testing properties once you create the object now using this object you will call that method which is get target file so which will be returning the input stream okay in the input stream we are fetching for the config dot properties okay these data will be fetched here and we should get the output of this file so let me run this program now instead of uh, fetching from uh, this file okay it will be having the default file so instead of fetching from this file now it will fetch from the target file okay let me run this program you see you got we got the qa user okay because it has set the default profile so if i keep the default profile to true for dev so it should take the dev user so let me run by using dev profile so it should pick the dev profile so it is building the project again now we got the dev because in the config.properties we will be having dev, dev properties so let me run this program using maven commands so in order to run in maven so let me open the terminal so i am in the command terminal now so now you need to use maven command which is maven clean so basically it will clean the target folder and it will keep it empty okay 
I end, I will run the package. So it will make it as a package. Okay. So package will also test the uh, test the files which we have under these folders. Okay. Now let me run this command. So once you run this command, it should clean the target folder. Then it should rebuild the project and it should create a package dot jar file under target folder. Okay, so the build got success and you see it has created the jar file under target folder. We didn't receive any output, so we have printed it, but we didn't get any output. So we will see it. So we will see the config properties. Yeah, as per our profile, it is a uh, dev dot dev user because uh, we have the default uh, active profile as dev. Okay, we got as expected, but we didn't got any output as we are expecting from the print statement. Okay, so but we got the jar file. The reason is because the JVM didn't identify any main class here. Okay, so we need to uh, tell Maven that we have a main class and we need to print this statement. So in order to do that, we need to add one more plugin. So, so this is the plugin, so which is a shared plugin. So it will identify the main class. We need to tell them so what are the where is the main class? So our main class is under this package, right? Com dot testing properties. Let me write that. Com dot so com dot santosh dot so the class name is testing properties. Okay. Now we have mentioned the class name where we have the main class. Okay. So where we have the main method. So it will execute this method now. Okay. Basically it will create a package. Now after getting the package, we need to run this package to get our uh, output. Okay. Let me build this project again. So I will use maven clean package. So it should clean the target folder and it should rebuild the project and it should also create a package for us you see it is running maven shared plugin now so and the build got success and we have received the jar file under target folder you see we have received the target folder like uh, it's a maven uh, frame framework essential this is the jar file now we need to run this jar file to get our output Okay, how to run the jar file? So we have a command called java iphone jar and we need to specify the target folder. Target. So this is the jar file, right? We need to run this file. You see, we got the output as dev user. So which we are expecting the output. Okay. And this is how we run the package. Okay. Now uh, here we have given in we haven't given any parameter. So by default we kept the active profile and we are making it to run right now we can also choose profiles uh, which profile needs to be run in using maven command so no need to give any activation so directly we can give in the maven command itself so i will give maven clean package and there is a property called iphone p and you can give the id which you need to get your profile properties so i will give profile as qa now it will fetch the qa properties so now it is config.properties is dev user right so now if I run this command, now it will create a new target folder under this we will be having QA properties and it will be having new jar file under it. Okay, so let me run this. It is cleaning the project again and uh, it is rebuilding the project. You see now no jar file is there now. So the build got success and it also created a new jar file. Let me open this config.properties. You see we have a QA user because we have given the command as QA for profile. Now, now I will run this package which is jar file. We should get the output as QA user. Yeah, we got the QA user. Okay, this is how we will set our profiles and we will run our properties in a dynamic way. Okay, so hope you have liked this video. So if you like, share the video to your friends and colleagues and also subscribe to my channel for further videos. I will come with new videos again. Okay, until then, thank you. Bye.